Let's talk a little bit about the vowels a, the monophthong, and a, the diphthong. In English, these are just two different allophones of the same vowel, meaning we don't have different words um, that are contrastive based on this difference. In other words, main means the primary one, and main <laughs> is the same word basically, okay? So um, how can you distinguish these? Well, first, um, let's talk about your book gives you some guidelines, right? So it says that when um, a syllable doesn't get primary stress, it might be likely to be a, the monophthong. So um, examples they give would be like cha chaotic, um, uh, um, rotate, rotate, okay? Um, so your book gives you some guidelines. Now, it's important to realize that your book is going to give you some guidelines to help you tune your ears to know what to expect. It's called top-down information. In other words, you have rules in your head that the author is supplying with you that are going to go top-down, meaning your brain is telling your ears I think this is probably what you're hearing based on the rules that we know, okay? Those are helpful. Here's what I want you to get from this. One, I want you to realize that guidelines are just guidelines. So humans can vary. If humans couldn't vary, there wouldn't be speech language pathologists. So um, know that these are not rules, okay? These are just guidelines to help you hear what you're hearing. Now, when this distinction occurs in a closed syllable, meaning me, main versus may, main, I don't care about that distinction too much. It's not very clinically relevant. So the good news is I'm not going to be super picky about you distinguishing between those two. Um, they're too close to call, especially when a word is really quickly said. Um, I will be a little pickier though in one area, which is in open syllables, because the distinction is way more marked. So if I were to say, um, see you in the month of May, I make a diphthong there, May. And you can see that my mouth is a little more open and then gets a little more closed at the end, May, and that's, going from the on glide to the off glide, may, okay? Now, if you made that a monophthong for me, I'll see you in the month of May. That's not how I said it. And here's what's important. Neither one is right or wrong. You just have to match the speaker, okay? So the author gives you all these rules, but just know that there are plenty of places in this country where the diphthong version may not even exist. Okay, okay, it's time for payday. Everybody likes payday because that's when you get paid. Okay, so, so the distinction is not super important in the middles of syllables when you have a closed syllable. Um, in an open syllable, it's more important and I will listen for those and I will grade you on those. Um, and the rules in the book are guidelines, but there are plenty of dialects in American English that will violate those rules. Okay, I hope that helps.